Hi everyone, welcome to Shankar English Guru. Today I am talking about the name of lesson which is Letter to J.R.D. Tata by Sudha Murthy. Sudha Murthy is a well-known social worker and author. She is renowned for her Nobel mission of providing computer and library facilities in all government schools of Karnataka state. And also she is the chairperson of the Infosys Foundation. It was probably April of 1974, Bangalore was getting warm and gulmohars were blooming at the IISC campus. She was the only girl in her postgraduate department and was staying in the ladies hostel. Other girls were pursuing research in department of science. She was looking forward to going abroad to complete a doctor, doctorate in computer science. So actually her aim is that you know she is looking forward to going abroad and she wants to do doctorate degree in computer science. She was offered scholarship from universities in the US. She had not thought of taking of a job in India. So she is more interested to go for abroad and uh, do her higher education. And she is not interested to take up a job in India. But one day while on the way to her hostel from the lecture hall, she saw an advertisement on the notice board. It was a standard job requirement notice from the famous automobile company which is called Telcom. It stated that the company required young bright engineers, hardworking and with an excellent academic background. At the bottom was a small line, lady candidates need not apply, she read it and uh, was very upset. For the first time in her life, she was of against uh, gender discrimination. So before she has, you know, equally she walked hand in hand with people, but after seeing this lady candidates need not apply, she felt bad about that. And uh, also, she was upset, very upset to see a particular line. So then she understood that, you know, there is a kind of a discrimination will happening. So among this society. So though she was not keen on taking up the job, she saw it is a challenge because she took as a challenge on this particular situation. She had done extremely well in academics, better than most of her male pairs. She knows that in a real life academic excellence is not enough to be successful. After reading the notice, she went to Fomin to her room. She decided to inform the topmost person in telecom about the injustice that company was preparing. She got a postcard and started to write but there was a problem. She did not know who headed telecom, sorry telco. She thought it, was, it must be one of the Tata's. She knew JRD Tata was the head of this Tata group. She saw his picture in the newspaper. She took the card addressed it to JRD and started writing. She remembered clearly what she wrote. The great Tatas have always been pioneers. They are all the people who started the basic infrastructure industries in India, such as iron and steel, chemicals, textiles, and locomotives. They have cared for higher education in India since 19, 1900s, and uh, they were responsible for the establishment of the Indian Institute of Science. But she was surprised how a company such as Telco was discriminating based on gender. She postponed the letters of forgot it. Less than 10 days, she received a telegram stating that she had to appear for an interview at Telco's Pune based company. She was taken back by the telegram 
her hostel mate told her that she should utilize the opportunity it was her the first visit to pune and she immediately fell in love with the city and uh, remained dear to it she felt very happy when she entered in pune as well as she loved the city and she is feeling and comfort in that particular city as like her hometown she felt as much at home in pune as she did in hubli her hometown the place changed her life in so many ways she went to telcos pimpri office for the interview there were six people on the panel and they whispered that she was the girl who wrote to jrd tata she heard somebody whispering as soon as she entered the room by then she knew for sure that she would not get the job because after watching this panel members and all she thought of that she is not able to going to get a particular job but finally the realization abolished all fear from her mind so she was rather cool while the interview was being conducted even before the commencement of the interview she recoined the panel as if they were biased so she gave the answers rather impolitely she hoped that this was only a technical interview and she was very happy to you know give her interview impolitely and they were taken back by her rudeness and she was ashamed of her attitude so she felt very bad about her attitude later the panel asked her technical questions and she answered all of them then an elderly gentleman with an affectionate voice explained the difference between factory and academics she was a young girl from small town hubli and her world had been a limited place she did not know the ways of large corporate houses and their difficulties finally after a long interview she was told she was successfully she had never thought uh, she would take up a job in pune she met a shy young man from karnataka and they became good friends and finally got married it was only after joining telco that she was realized who jrd tata was he was the uncrowned king of the industry like indian industry now she was scared to meet him but she did not get an opportunity to meet him till she was transformed to bombay one day she had to show some reports to mr malgokar chairman in this office on the first floor of mumbai house when suddenly jrd walked in that was the first time she saw apro jrd apro means our in gujarati with love they would like to call as his their boss like you know apro jrd this was the affectionate term by which people at mumbai house called him she was feeling very nervous remembering her postcard episode yes him introduced her nicely j this young woman is an engineer and a post graduate too she is the first woman to work on the telco shop floor jd looked at me she was praying to god that he would not ask her any questions about her interview instead he remarked it was nice that girls were getting into engineering in our country after that she used to see jrd on and off in 1982 she had to resign from her job at telco when she thought of leaving the company she wanted to meet jrd tata when she met him he gave suggestion to her to become confident and most to give back to society finally she considered jrd a great man an extremely busy person who valued one postcard written by a young girl seeking justice her love and respect for her for the house of tatas remained undiminished by the passage of time 
she always looked up jrd and considered him to be her role model for his simplicity generosity kindness and the care he took for his employees so the conclusion of this chapter is women are no more restricted to cooking washing clothes doing household works and looking after their children and family today women are leading in every field of society whether it be sports commerce and industries education health politics technology agriculture and so on the following women are the inspiration for the women to get into different sectors and lead independent life i would like to end this video with a beautiful quotation by sudha murthy it doesn't matter how intelligent you are how well off you are or how well connected you are your perseverance your courage if you keep that intact will always make you successful thank you so much my dear all subscribe my channel as well as like and share and subscribe because this will help me as well as it is a kind of support if you want to subscribe my channel so thank you so much have a nice day